everyone and welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to unlock the beef blade spray which is the third uh secret reward for the chapter 2 season 6 uh, of fortnite and in order to unlock the spray all you have to do is just complete 18 epic quests as you can see right here and epic quests are the purple colored quests that you get every week so every week we get seven of these quests that have the purple color to them to the side as you can see i have one more to complete and uh, in this video i'm going to show you the first 14 of the first two weeks that we have so far uh, in order to reach the milestone needed to unlock this beautiful spray right here. So, for the next epic quest of uh, week 1, it says that you have to hunt 5 wildlife. So you have to hunt 5. There it is, hunt, wa hunt wildlife. To hunt wildlife, all you need is a weapon and a spot where wildlife spawns. So we're gonna go over here. This is where I am right now. This spot has a lot of wildlife, and wildlife is basically uh, boars or um, uh, or uh, wolves. So we're just gonna look around a little bit, and once you find them, all you have to do is just hunt them, hunt them down, which is a little bit barbaric, but you know. Let's go that way. So you can come here or you can uh, also go to Weeping Woods that also has wildlife in it. Ah. Do these frog counts? There it is. <laughs> Easy as that. And you get a stink sack. Alright. So even frogs count, as you can see, wildlife is all around us. <laughs> so if you see an animal, just grab a weapon and shoot at them. Or you need to uh, hunt five of them and that should complete the challenge. Hey guys, so for the next epic quest of week one, all you have to do is just find golden artifacts, three of them, near the spire. The spire is the center zone right here, the center POI. This is called the spire, where the uh, zero point bloomed. And the three uh, artifacts are uh, super f hard to find because they are super little and super golden. But bear with it, we're gonna find them. I already have a hint on all three of them, where they are. Okay, so if you follow the stairs. There it is, this is one. So the first one is gonna be at the top of the S letter. If you look on the top right of the map, I am standing on the top of the S letter, the spire. So that's one. Let's grab a weapon just in case. The next one should be inside one of these houses. So you will find a glowing blue light when you're close. Ah, here we are. So that's the second one. And the third one is going to be at the bottom of the P letter. If you look on the uh, on the map, we're going to go to the P part. I had to look them for them really carefully and like mark their spots. Oh, actually I was wrong. Here's another one. It's at the bottom of the S. So apparently there's uh, a lot more than three. So this should be easy enough to do. Just keep looking around the spire and you will find all three. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do. So yeah, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. Hey guys, so for the next epic quest of uh, week one, season six, all you have to do is just talk to three characters. So that's pretty easy. Just find yourself an NPC and go talk to them. So I'm going to show you three spots where I found three NPCs consistently. The first spot is going to be right here, near Gorgeous Gorge. So this is Gorgeous Gorge, and right here, you will find the first NPC. Just talk to them. Alright, now we're gonna look for two other NPCs. You can find another NPC right here. This is gonna be the second NPC right near the spot where we were at Lazy Lake. Right at this spot. Let's go talk to him. This is my first time talking to this NPC. So we're gonna find out who he is. Oh, it's a uh, cabbie. Alright, very cool. Reveal nearby characters. That's uh, That's useful. So the next character, so the third and last NPC is going to be right here at this spot. Let me ping it. Here we are at this little island. 
So we come here and you will find Turk hanging out. You can get a fishing rod from him. So, uh, basically, the best way to do this is to grab a car and follow the road, and you will find a bunch of NPCs uh, all around the road. Uh, for now, we, all, we don't know all where all the NPCs are, as you can see. I've only unlocked a couple of them. But once I do, I will make a video on this and will tell you all 46 spots where you can find every, uh, uh, every single one of these NPCs. So yeah, as for this quest, all you have to do is just find three. As I said, just go to Lazy Lake, Gorgeous Gorge, take a car, uh, drive around and you will find a couple more. And that should complete the challenge. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So, for this epic quest, all you have to do is just uh, collect mechanical parts from vehicles, trailers, buses or tractors. So to do this, I recommend coming to Compact Cars right here. Because it has a lot of these uh, uh, junk uh, uh, junk cars that you can destroy. First, I saw somebody there, so we're gonna have to do, get a weapon. All right. So to do this, all you have to do is just oh, I cannot destroy that. Is destroy like left uh, RVs or cars, and you will get these mechanical parts right here as you can see just collect them and in total you need five so we're gonna try to get our five that's two that's three that's four Alright, we're not gonna fight that guy. We might as well finish our uh, our thingy right here. So let's go destroy uh, that trailer over there. We don't need to take any unnecessary fights. We are here to guide people through these uh, quests. Let's go destroy this RV and see if it gives us a mechanical part. If it doesn't, we'll go to the to a tractor up there. Alright, nice, it did. And that's mechanical part number 5. And there it is. 24,000 XP. Easy peasy. That's all you have to do to complete this quest. Hey guys, so <clears throat> for this uh, epic quest, all you have to do is just craft a hunter's cloak. And to do that, all you need to do is just uh, hunt down some animals, some boars, some wolves. You can find them anywhere, practically, uh, practically everywhere, but you can find a lot of them in Weeping Woods. So if I uh, kill this boar right here... It will give me a couple of stuff, animal bones and meat. And when I collect that, let me just go to... All right, now go to item, go craft, go click on this bone. And as you can see, you can craft the hunter's cloak. All you need is two animal bones and two uh, meat. So craft. And that gives you this right here. This is the hunter's cloak and you can just take it and you can equip it just click on it and it will become your back blade as you can see it's pretty dope right so yeah that's the quest that's how we do it hey guys so for this epic quest it says that you have to craft primal weapons using bones and makeshift weapons so basically a makeshift weapon is a gray weapon as you can see from my shotgun this one right here is a makeshift weapon and we're gonna upgrade it to a primal, uh, to a pri to a primal uh, shotgun by going to crafting. And as you can see, it becomes this this variety right here. And to do that, all you need is one gray shotgun and four animal bones. You get animal bones by killing animals everywhere, wolves, boars, uh, whatever. You will find them everywhere. I basically found these in uh, Weeping Woods right here. I killed them here. So just go to inventory, go uh, click on uh, the makeshift weapon. And go to crafting and then click craft and you will transform it into a primal weapon as you can see there it is so yeah that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest hey guys so for the next epic quest <clears throat> for this season it says that you have to create a mechanical weapon using mechanical parts 
and a makeshift weapon. So what you need is one makeshift weapon and uh, five mechanical parts. So I recommend coming here to Risky Reels because there are a bunch of RVs that you can destroy and get all the mechanical weapons that you need. So let's grab our weapon and farm our mechanical parts. Let's see, do we have any contenders here? No? Okay. Right? That's not a makeshift weapon. That's a mechanical part right there. We need, know, we need a few more. Okay. So this is how you know how many uh, me uh, makeshift, uh, not me mechanical parts you have. So we have two. We need five. That's three. Oh man, I need a makeshift weapon. <laughs> hey, that's not a problem. The most important thing is that, that we get uh, the mechanical parts that we need. This is what it looks like. Like a mechanical part. Let's see. We need a makeshift weapon. Makeshift weapon. Okay, I see. Uh, I see a thingy over there. Shift submachine gun. All right. Let's see what we have. So go to that. Go to crafting. Oh, oh, we need four. So as you can see, uh, that's it, right? Yeah. So make a uh, mechanical weapon from a uh, makeshift weapon and four mechanical parts. As you can see, just click on the submachine gun, and as you can see, we need four. And the submachine gun itself, just click craft. And you will turn it into a mechanical weapon, which is the blue SMG. There it is on the top left. That, uh, that was the announcement. So yeah, that's all you have to do. And that should complete the challenge. I highly recommend this spot. As you can see, it has everything you need. And you can complete the challenge real quick. So today we're doing this uh, new epic quest, which is to ride five zip lines. Where is, where is it? There it is. Right, different zip lines. We need to write five. So to do this, I recommend going to the spire in the middle of the map. That's where we find our zip lines. Or you can go to the zip lines between retail, dirty, and steamy. So we're gonna do it over here. I recommend doing this in uh, team rumble mode because not many people will bother you. Let's grab this. All right, first zip line. Second zip line. And then we try to redeploy into this zip line. Number three. And then this one. Number four. And then the next one. Let's do this one. Number five. And there it is. Easy peasy. As I said, I recommend coming here to this spire all the way over here. And you can do this uh, quest real quick. Hey guys, so to make a mechanical bow, all you need is a, a basic bow right here. Which is the one that we have over here on the right. The makeshift bow. And then you make yourself to the, uh, you make your way to the uh, risky reels location. Where there, are, where there are a bunch of RVs that you can destroy and you can get mechanical parts from. Because to make a uh, mecha mechanical bow, you need mechanical parts and a bow. Of course, you can get mechanical parts from uh, RVs. Oh, oh, that's lucky. <laughs> we got an instant mechanical bow. Okay, we're gonna keep going just to show you how to craft. So you can get mechanical parts from RVs, trucks, buses, and even cars, even stationary cars like this one. Just keep whacking at it And you should get the part There it is, we got one, we got two Oh, another one, damn, we're getting super lucky Okay, let's see if we have enough Let's get inside here so we don't get killed Crafting 
there it is. So we're gonna make uh, this uh, normal boat, the makeshift boat, into a mechanical boat. I'm gonna craft. That's a mechanical boat. So in order to make a uh, an explosive boat, all you need is a mechanical boat, which is this boat right here, one of these bows, and six grenades. So we're gonna go to crafting. And as you can see, you can make a mechanical explosive bow using these ones. Just one mechanical bow and six grenades. Craft. And there it is. We got ourselves an explosive bow. Super dope. So, in order to make a uh, mechanical uh, shockwave bow, all you need is a mechanical bow, like this one right here, and two shockwave grenades. So, as you can see, mechanical shockwave bow. Just a mechanical bow and two shockwave grenades. Just click craft and you will make the bow. And there it is. All done. Hey guys, so for this epic quest, in order to tame a boar, first you need uh, these items. So you need to kill a couple of uh, wild animals to acquire these wild, uh, these, uh, this meat. And then go into crafting and you need uh, two bones and one meat in order to craft the hunter's cloak. So you need to craft that. And then you have to wear it. So go to the hunter cloak and wear it. And uh, for example, we can test it with these wolves. As you can see, they will not attack us because of the hunter cloak. And I can even tame them. You can do this with, uh, with boars as well. So this wolf right here is tamed and he was going to attack the other wolves. So yeah, that's uh, the basic idea. Now all you have to do is just find yourself a boar, uh, which are not very rare, but uh, sometimes you just get unlucky. So just wear this cloak, uh, the one I'm wearing right now, and find a boar and just come close to it and just click tame and you will have tamed that boar. Hey guys, so we're doing this uh, epic quest right here. Obtain literature, literature samples from Pleasant Park, Lazy Lake or Retero. So we're gonna go to Pleasant Park right here. And the idea is to uh, uh, interact with the bookshelves, but there are only a few that you can interact with. So the first one is going to be this blue house right here under me. So it's go there's going to be two at uh, Pleasant Park, and we're going to we're going to do two uh, two more at Lazy Lake. Let's start with this one. Just go inside, and this is the bookshelf. Interact, and we Gucci, and then we leave before the other guy starts tryharding for no reason. Then we go to that house over there. The second house is gonna be that one over there in the corner. Just go inside. And there should be another bookshelf to the left. There it is, hello. Okay, that's two. Now we go to Lazy Lake. So here we are at Lazy Lake, which is located right here. So the first spot is going to be the gas station. So just make your way over to the gas station over here. Let's make sure we grab this weapon. And we grab this one as well. We don't want anybody to interrupt us. And where's the it? There it is, this one. Just interact. That's our third literature. And then you go to that house, which already has someone on top of it, so we have to be... stealthy. Just go downstairs. And here we are. This is the last one. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Four literatures completed. Hey guys, so for this epic quest, it says that you have to deal damage with mechanical weapons. So it can be any mechanical weapon. For example, we have our mechanical SMG here, which we just upgraded. And all you have to do is just deal damage. So we're gonna find somebody who is stupid enough to fight us. Ah, here we go. Come on. Take out. Well, as you can see, it adds up. So just keep dealing damage, just 300 damage, and it will complete the challenge. Hey guys, so we're doing this uh, quest right here. 
this epic quest, which is to deal explosive damage to opponents. You need to deal 1,000 explosive damage, which is pretty easy to do. Well, not too easy to do. Uh, what you need is either grenades, a rocket launcher, or an explosive bow, which does this, which is the most uh, like easy method to spam this challenge. And uh, you can make this bow by making uh, by taking a mechanical bow and six grenades, and you can craft this bow right here. So yeah, just keep spamming this in Team Rumble mode and deal as much explosive damage as you can until you finish the quest. Hey guys, so for this epic quest, you're gonna have to do something really tough, which is to get a headshot with a bow. So just one headshot will give you 24,000 XP points. So just grab yourself a bow. This is your bow. Whatever bow just uh, counts and just try to get a headshot on someone. Which is not so easy. Damn it. I recommend you try to do this in uh, Team Rumble. Uh, because that's where you'll have the highest chance of doing this. And yeah, just keep spamming arrows <laughs> until you get a headshot. Just one headshot is enough. 